Well, the winter storm has come and gone, but neighbors in Cottage Grove are still feeling the effects. KEZI 9 News reporter Jillian Smuckler checked in on community members to see how they're holding up. Facebook is what saved our community and our Pay It Forward page, our What's Happening Cottage Grove page. That's how we communicated with each other, and that's how we're getting people the services they need. Karen Munsell says thanks to social media, neighbors are banding together after this historic winter storm. We've dug neighbors' driveways out so they could get, get medicine, get food. The store shelves were empty at one point for lunch meat and milk and bread and it's been a, an experience we're still down and now we're getting ready for the snow to melt 18 to 20 inches of snow fell in some parts of town and not only was there a lot of it but it was wet and heavy causing trees and power lines to come down too people have been coming to this sand pile all day long filling up their bags preparing for what's to come when the snow melts the city is giving out sandbags and sand for anyone who needs it, hoping to hold back the treacherous floodwaters as the snow continues to melt. The city manager says they'll continue to replenish the sand pile on North 12th Street by Dairy Mart. These are actually for one neighbor who's going to need them, who reached out on Facebook and asked um, another neighbor, but he's actually stuck in Klamath Falls. He works for the train and they're waiting for a helicopter to get them out. Karen isn't the only one stocking up. But there's not a lot of people here now because it's not melting yet, you know, so I think it's better to, to do it now and be ready than to do it when it's already melting and the sand's all gone. Overall, community members tell me this storm was unlike anything they've ever experienced. This was a learning lesson, and I hope that people take it as a learning lesson and as we process through, get prepared because we've got to be better prepared as a community so we can help each other. But we did great, I think, so far. And they hope by taking the necessary precautions, they'll be ready for the next stages to come. Reporting in Cottage Grove, Jillian Smuckler, KEZI 9 News.